This is Katiko Chuma, and you're watching Nothing Else to Add. I want to start episode 2 with a quote by Charles Revson, co-founder of Revlon. In the factory, we manufacture lipstick. In the store, we sell hope. From the simple quote, we begin to see that the best brands and various brand touch points do not sell products or services, but ideas. Through the sale of these ideas, we can match a product and or service that the customer, user, and often the staff buy or opt into. Therefore, if we are to effectively communicate a brand idea throughout its various brand touch points, we need a framework that we can use to distill and disseminate a single idea. As discussed in episode one, the architectural imagination is this framework. We can use it to consistently distill our ideas by engaging our imagination and understanding in order for us to effectively communicate them through sense data. These can be translated to the brief, the strategy, the creative or its execution. The brief. The brief is the problem statement. It is the idea in its raw form. The idea is what engages our imagination both in the positive and the negative. In the factory, we manufacture lipstick. In the store, we sell hope, Revlon. In the factory, we manufacture shoes. In the store, we sell possibility, Adidas. Two distinctive brands with one promise, hope. The strategy. The strategy is the ideation space. This is where we gather insights that inform our understanding of what hope is or could be. For Revlon, hope is to be unforgettable, which is in the positive. While for Adidas, hope is the idea that the impossible is nothing, which is a double negative. These insights become what we understand about each brand and their brand values. For Revlon, to be unforgettable, you must have innovation, drive, and achievement. For Adidas, the impossible is nothing when you have integrity, passion, performance, and diversity. These brand values inform us on the brand personality, tone, and messaging, which are all articulated throughout the various brand touch points. The creative and its execution. The creative or its execution is the brand promise, the brand's values, personality, tone, and messaging articulated as sense data in the three brand touchpoint categories. These experiences become what the customer, user, or staff engages with each time they engage with the brand. Therefore, if we are to effectively communicate a brand idea throughout its various brand touchpoints, we need a framework that we can consistently use to distill and disseminate a single idea. The architectural imagination is this framework. On the next episode, we will take a deeper look into the three brand categories, what they are and how each experience is again the architectural imagination at work. We will see how brands can use the architectural imagination to distill ideas into new products, services, experiences and advertising. This is Katiko Chuma and you're watching Nothing Else to Add.